the only transaction we made today, we let TJ Stewart know that he made the team. Uh, so that's all we got for now. Um, obviously, we have to make some decisions as far as the pitching goes. Uh, and as soon as I get done here, we'll have some more conversations. But uh, yeah, DJ Stewart's on the team. Top to bottom, uh, we got we got not only versatility, but guys that can do damage. We can beat you in a lot of different ways. You know, whether it's by the, the way we're running the bases, uh, putting the ball in play, hitting uh, hitting the ball in the seats. Um, I like our pitching staff as a whole. You know, uh, our bullpen. You know, and the versatility that we got and the different looks that we got back there. Uh, guys that can come in and, 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 and throw from different angles, uh, different pitch shapes and things like that. Uh, so to be honest, in the depth, you know, uh, when I look down the triple-A and double-A, you know, we got a lot of depth there. And for us to be able to get through 162-plus, we're going to go through a lot of these guys, and uh, I see that as a part of our strength as well. Our expectation is to win. We're here to win, you know. Uh, there's no secret. This is New York, you know. And... I've been saying it all along, like outside and the, the uh, projections and things like that might say it differently, but we do believe that we have a really good team. And I don't buy the fact that expectations are low for the New York Mets in 2024, regardless of what happens here last year. Uh, this is a very talented uh, team, and we're here to win. And, you know, our our job is to go out there and, and, and prove, pe prove people, you know, and uh, embrace those expectations. And we know we're good and we're here to win.